Hey guys, Blue Kool-Aid here at you. Yeah, Lasco C2, the seed site. They haven't updated for a couple weeks. Well, they finally did, and they dumped all the data. Um, and they put it all back in their models, and they kind of, you know, hadn't updated for a couple weeks. So they actually went back, and now we're able to see it all. So I've been kind of, you know, pouring through it here. And I'll come across this. This is on the 11th. All right, that's it. That's it. The fast speed here. You're going to see it flash. You're going to see it doing all kinds of crazy stuff. Sun's very active, I will say, in this picture anyway. And you've seen that whatever big, huge uh, anomaly we've seen up there in the top left. Let's go ahead and uh, I'm going to go ahead and. Yeah, okay. Just going to. Sorry about that, guys. Um. I'm going to take it back here to the what I want to show you. All right. Now, it's actually pretty uh, pretty decent size uh, anomaly here that I'm seeing. Okay. Um, now, you've seen that, right? What I'm trying to show you guys, it's up here. Okay. Now, I think this is actually some sort of object. I don't think this is a camera anomaly. And I will draw your guys' attention to all these little things shooting across the screen. Okay, I do think that that's debris. Okay, we've been talking about a lot of meteors actually here even hitting the surface of the Earth. And I think that we're going through some sort of debris field. Um, I don't think many of us can actually even dispute that. I mean, look, even on here on the visible light, you see it? Okay, so that, you know, when you see it, especially on both, now this is coming from the same camera, but when you see it on both, it usually lends a little bit of validity to an actual object. Okay, now you see that, right? I'm going to bring it back. Okay, now first thing most people are going to see is this hard line up there. Okay, all that is is the end of the picture. Okay, you can follow that all around the whole side top of it, okay? That's all that is. This thing actually would extend on out this way. Okay, now if we look at it, it's even ball shaped on the on the on the end of it here. Okay. Now we can't really tell direction. You know, when we look at this, it kind of looks like it's moving from north to south, but we can't really say that. Now it showed up on the visible too, guys. Okay, and it and what what, I, what strikes me here is that you see a darker section in the middle here. Okay? Now, if you were a comet or if you were whatever shooting through space, that's kind of what it would probably look like. Okay? This would be the energy and the debris off behind you. Okay? And I think that's kind of what we're seeing. Um, that's just my opinion. I'm sure there's others that have different opinions. But I wanted to show that to you. And the reason why this is even significant to me, I mean, you're seeing all kinds of different stuff here, guys. I mean, the, these here, we don't normally, the, the big reason I'm showing you this is we very, very seldom see this kind of stuff on our Lasco C2 image. Okay, this is the kind of stuff we usually see on Core 2, all right? Um, so, you know, I don't know how much more validity that lends it, but this is at, at best, you know, we can't ignore it is basically what I'm saying. Now that's what a normal image would look like that grainy stuff. So what you're seeing here guys is it's kind of reversed like a light in the dark. Um, I don't want to go into some big explanation cause most people just simply don't care. <laughs> but that is kind of what it is um it's not exactly what it is but you know it's, I, I believe it uses radio frequency or x-rays or something some something along that line to give it that anyway they take the data and they input it in such a way that it, that's that's what we see okay now the one on the right is meant to be a red filter visible light capture so that is kind of what that's normally what you would see if you would go over to ISWA. This way. Okay. And it is. It's the same data. These guys get the data from the same places. They just put it in their own models. 
Okay. So <clears throat> anyway, you can go through this and I, I encourage everybody to go through this and you're, you're going to see stuff that probably shouldn't be there. And when you do, that's when you're like, Hey, you know, you should probably stop. And you can see the sun's really, really active. Okay, I got it going in reverse, which is why everything's getting sucked into the sun right there. But you can see all this activity, okay? This is this is um, more activity than normal, okay? Now, so, in my daily, whatever I do daily, guys, I mean, I go through about every tool every day. All right, it's just what I do. Um, that's how I do my research. But Sechi, okay, Sechi hadn't updated a couple couple of parts of their tool for the ninth. Well, they went ahead and it did. They updated it. Remember, there's a lag here, guys. There's a couple day lag. That's why we don't get today's imaging, okay? So, but I on the ninth, okay. So I go to this, which is the earliest date it's going to let me see, okay? It's this one right here. All right. Now, that doesn't look too impressive, right? Again, this is usually light-dark, light-dark. It's reverse. It's the EUVI 195, well, it's calling it the 195 angstrom, which is usually like the the green one. And there is another, there is one here just above this one where you can see the green imaging. But this here, they've taken it and they put it into black and white. And again, I think when you see white, it's actually like kind of dark. And if you, whenever you see dark, it's supposed to be light. But, you know, you just run through this real quick and think, well, that ain't, whole, that ain't nothing going on. Well, there kind of is. Okay, and I'm going to pause it right here. What I want you guys to look at, guys, is right in here. Okay, now I'm going to shrink this down and step it. Okay. And you're watching it. Okay, now, this here is a sunspot. Okay, I've been watching that sunspot for a few days now. I've seen it coming off that limb in the sun, of the sun. And it's a pretty active sunspot. And I'll, I'll just say that, because it is. Okay, and then I see this. Now, like I said, if you've got this running at full speed, you're not going to catch that. Look at this. Isn't that kind of odd? Now, the first thing that I look at here is, the first thing I ask my the question I ask myself is, for, uh, obviously, what is it? It's an odd shape. And it isn't something that would typically look like a sunspot energy coming off of the sun, a flare, or a CME, just for the fact of the shape of this thing. Okay? I mean, look at this. That's just all kinds of odd. All right? So then I start, you know, digging deep into it. D deeper, I should say. Um, I step to the next image, and then I, then I see this. Okay? So... When I see things like that, I try to decide if it's actually something I should even be wasting my time on. And then if I think I need to put some time into it, I try to figure out where that's coming from, what direction it's moving. Okay, if I can figure out what direction that's moving, I can tell you whether or not it's coming from the sun or going to the sun. All right, now, that means a whole lot of different things, and it can be a whole lot of different things. So I took those images... And I ran them through my photo editing stuff that I have. And I found some interesting stuff. Okay, this is that first one I showed you, okay? What I want to point out. Okay, that's what I've seen. Alright. Now, I what I did was... Actually, I'm going to go down here to Tool Wheels. I think I saved some of them, maybe. We'll see. Nope. I, uh... Let's go to, there we go, screenshots. Okay. Now, like I said, that's the first one I've seen, right? Well, what really drew my eye was this. If you if you look really, really close there, guys, you can kind of see that's a pretty, pretty good spherical object going on there. Right here. Okay. Now, I'm going to preface this by telling you that this, the, the big picture here, guys, is that's the sun. Okay, so if something is right here at the sun, that size, that's roughly the size of the earth, if not bigger. Okay, that's what drew my eye to this. Then, this is the next capture. 
okay, what, what I believe is going on here, and this is what, remember, this one came first, that was the next capture. So that gives you, that gives you movement, okay? It started here, and it moved this direction. That shows it right there. Now something else, which tells me this is going towards the sun. Well, this is actually telling me that it hit the sun. And the reason why, you see that? If you go to the next imaging on this, and I encourage you guys to do so, nothing goes from the sun out. Everything is going from here in. Okay, so whatever this was, hit the sun on the 9th. Now granted, you know, we can't, this is on the side of the sun, it actually is probably even closer towards the back side of, from this camera angle. Okay, now we can go look at other imaging and stuff like that, and I did. Okay, and this did show something going on there. Okay, now you're not going to get the same time exact down to the minute, so this is go these are going to be in different positions a little bit. But, um, you can even see the, the, the bright circle there in the middle, right? Okay, and then if we go on to the next capture, that wasn't it. But then when I went under this view, now you can even see, this isn't exact because again, this is a few more minutes ahead of it. You can still see a spherical object in roughly the same big anomaly whatever that is now what do i think is going on here okay i think what i'm seeing this is just my opinion is that probably this whatever object was hitting towards the sun caused the sun to react before it hit its surface okay that's what i think is what all this mess is this it's clear that this object here started from wherever back here and headed towards the sun and actually hit it. At least in my opinion, that's pretty clear, clear uh, deducement just from this fact. Okay, starts there, ends there. Okay, this one came before that. Right, didn't start here and go here. Plus the fact that it actually indented on the surface. Okay, in a spherical shape. So I, I just thought that that was really, really highly interesting. Um, again, what does this mean? Well, at, at this point, to me, it just means something hit the sun. Okay, did it cause problems? Who knows? I, I don't, don't think so. But I really do think something hit the sun here, guys. And, and what this does is it leads to the, the whole mind thought behind debris. Okay, we're going to go through that in, in, a, in a video here very, very shortly, okay? Um, it's just one of those things, guys, where we're going to just have to be like, what the heck? Okay? Um, because there is, there's debris all over the place, guys. And it says it right here, no fear. No fear, okay? But I just want to bring that to you guys real quick. Um, I thought that was really interesting stuff. Um... And I may end up making another video tonight. Maybe, maybe not. But we'll see. Um, until next time, guys. Always remember, no fear. No fear, no fear. Oh, yeah. You can drink this Kool-Aid, right? No. <laughs> anyway, God bless. Yeshua saves always. And you can drink this Kool-Aid.